Okay, we're going to just do a quick video here of the Kung Fu Panda to do case insensitive input and multiple valid inputs. All right, so go live with this one. Oh, and I guess uh, I forgot to say, mention in the last video that uh, we didn't do all of the characters here. So um, feel free to do the rest of the images yourself. Um, I'm not going to do them all. Uh, all you have to do is just keep adding another else if. Else if name equals Tigress. Else if name equals Viper. I okay, so that would be a good little test to make sure you understand how to do that. Okay, but what I want to show you now is that I don't want to have to be able to exact have to type po exactly. Like I should be able to do this, and it should still work. Or lowercase, and it should still work. Okay, so what we're going to do for that, really easy, is um, where am I going to do this? There's two ways to do it. You know, what, I'm just going to do this at the very end of this. So we get this element, we get its value. We're going to add another dot. And we're going to go to lower case. Make sure you do lowercase t, capital L, capital C. And then don't forget the open and close parentheses. To lowercase is a function or a method. And in order to invoke the method, you have to use parentheses. Okay. And what it does is it takes the value to the left of it and it converts it to all lowercase. So no matter what the user types into this input element, right, we're going to get the value of the input element. Whatever gets typed in there, it'll be converted to all lowercase. So what's funny is that this now won't work because name will not have a capital in it, right? So I'm going to save this, and we can try to run this, and I'll type po like that, and it, it, it does not work. Okay. In fact, whatever I type will not will not work. It's, it doesn't work. Okay. And that's because name is going to be all lowercase. So we obviously need to check does name equal the lowercase version of O. Oh. So now if I type all capitals, it'll work. If I type all lowercase, it'll work. If I type capital lowercase it'll work if I type lowercase capital it'll work right because no matter what I type here all the letters get converted to lowercase um, and then it um, it should be true okay and then we'd have to do the same thing for mantis make sure it's lowercase monkey lowercase there you go all right so monkey like that should work, right? Because it gets converted to all lowercase. Uh, in fact, a nice way to see this, just to make sure it's really clear, you go to my console. Let's just do a quick little console.log of name. And you'll see if I go mantis like that, right? Name gets converted to all lowercase. And in my code, I'm checking if it equals the lowercase version, which it does. So it works. Okay. Uh, the only other thing I was going to show you was, um, oh yeah, we, we've done or a fair bit. So what if I wanted to accept po um, or name equals um, dragon warrior, right? That's another title he goes by. Um, or for mantis, maybe I would go or name is equal to um, master mantis, right? Oh. Make sure, oh, I'm making a mistake. Lower case, lower case, dragon warrior, because name will be all lower case. So we need to have all lower case. All right, so now if I do that, I can type in Po, it works. I can type in dragon warrior, and it still works, right? Dragon warrior, it doesn't matter the case anymore, and it works, yay. And you could chain as many of these as you wanted, right? Or what else does he go by? Po, Dragon Warrior. Oh, wait a second. In the video, I should know this. His dad called him something else. Anyway, whatever. I can't remember right now. Okay, so you can chain as many ors as you want. Name is this, or name is this, or name is this. One common mistake, though, is people doing this. Does name equal Po or Dragon Warrior? Which, when you say it, it's like, okay, it kind of makes sense, right? Does the name equal Poe or Dragon Warrior? That makes sense. But 
Now, no matter what I type in here, it'll always be true. And that's because the or says either this is true or this is true. But what what is Dragon Warrior? Is that true? Right? And, and actually, there's a cool function here called Boolean, and I can pass in this, the, the string Dragon Warrior, and it'll evaluate is this true or not, and it evaluates it as true. And basically, this, this is not like a valid, like this is a valid Boolean expression, right? Two greater than three, that's false. This is not a valid Boolean expression, really. It's, it's just trying to evaluate is this true or not. And the way JavaScript treats that is an empty string is considered false. Any non-empty string is considered true. So this will always be true. And because it's an or, this can be true or this can be true. This will always evaluate to true. That's why you need to have that name equals. So is the name equal to Poe or is the name equal to Dragon Warrior in order for it to work properly? Okay, that is that. Hope that made sense. Take care and we'll see you in the next video.